Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another CIW Storyline Update. My name is The Colonist, and what you are seeing here is the CIW Gut Check Dungeon. This is where every Gut Check participant goes to train. This is, and it looks like my basement, but it's not. So, storylines. Satan and the Grim Reaper, they're fine, they didn't get beaten down, they just got counted out, and then Shades of Black weirdly just left them alone. But Shades of Black have informed me that there is a fourth member who's going to make his presence known at Doomsday, or up to Doomsday at some point, and I'm not looking forward to that, I'm sure nobody's looking forward to that. I've had enough of Shades of Black as it is. And I'm sure Satan, who has made a point to saying he's challenged one member of Shades of Black, he's challenged Riddick in particular, to a match this week, so we're going to see that. No members of either faction at ringside, whether it's Hellfire and Brimstone or Shades of Black, nobody at ringside. It's one-on-one -on -one confrontation. Moving right along, we finally heard back from Ermac saying that he was on sabbatical doing something with the Mortal Kombat tournament, but seeing how that's over, I'm not really sure. Anyway, but when we asked him about where he's been and about, he really didn't give us a straightforward answer, and I don't know why, and we've been asking him and he just hasn't given it, but he did say that he will be in a match this week and he will be entering himself. Into, and I'm not sure where he got this idea, but he's entering himself into the CIW Championship number one contenders match next week. And the winner of that will face Satan at Doomsday for the CIW Heavyweight Championship. And that match is going to be contested inside Hell in a Cell. So there's going to be no outside interference. It's going to be mano y mano. Next, Magus. Unfortunately, Magus is at the point, well, the absence of points, where he is going to be in the elimination match. Unless, unless he can win a six-man redemption battle royal, which is going to take place this week, and the winner of that gets 20 points, which could skyrocket them, not only to the top of the leaderboard, but away from elimination, which is the danger right now. As whoever's at the bottom of this list is going into the elimination match. If May just doesn't win that, he will be in the elimination match. So he's got to be careful. They've also, I know Bruce Lee is in danger. There are a couple other guys who are in danger. It's going to be the six lowest point totaled guys in that match. And the winner of that will get 20 points. And there will be some point successions. I'll get to that when we actually do the match. So, look for that this week. Then, speaking of... Oh, Jimmy Corderas. I'm sorry, Jimmy Corderas, NWO. He has been making multiple threats in recent weeks, had an impressive victory over Chrono last week, and he says that his numbers of NWOites are growing and that they're going to make their impression. They're going to start at the bottom. They're going to start with Gut Check. CIW Gut Check, that's where they're going to begin their invasion. So he says. And speaking of Gut Check, Gut Check is set to debut the Monday... Monday after Doomsday. Doomsday, of course, set for the 28th, I think, is that Saturday. June 29th, of course, is the Doomsday Fallout video, which is one of these. And then that Monday, we get to see the debut of Gut Check. So, stay tuned for that. It's going to be exciting. 30 new guys, brand new guys, get pumped. Um, as far as the elimination match goes, before I forget this, anyone who's injured, which means Frozone, Ken Master, Sagat, they are not in danger of being eliminated. They will not be eliminated. They're fine. Uh, they are frozen on the main ras uh, raster, on the main roster for now. And finally, I believe, so long as I'm checking my list, yes, Team Mischief, the World Tag Team Champions, CIW Tag Team Champions, Wario and Waluigi, will be in action this week against the winners of the last Hell in a Cell match, that tag match, the Blue and Green Ranger, the SPD Rangers. If the other Rangers win, they will get a title shot next week. And if not, if Team Mischief wins, they are going to pick their opponents for their tag title match next week. And so we are going to see, potentially, titles change hands next week. we got a lot going on this week, a lot going on next week. Now is not the time to tune out. Now is the time to stay with us, because we got some good stuff ahead. My name's The Colonist, everybody. See you next time.